So today I got a tutorial on this hair. I used the Bombay Hair 5-in-1 Curling Wand, the second largest barrel. And I only used hairspray on my hair. And also, I didn't even tease my hair, didn't backcomb it or anything like that. It's just natural, fluffy, big curls achieved with the curler. And I'm absolutely loving this um, curler. So if you guys want to know how I achieve these curls with the curler, then make sure you keep on watching. And don't forget to like, subscribe and comment and share. And I'll see you guys on my channel next time. Bye. So guys, my hair is already straight. I put some argan oil through my hair and also a Tony and Guy heat protectant spray to kind of protect my hair from all the damage and everything. So I'm gonna use the Bombay 5-in-1 curling wand and this is the second largest barrel in the set. Um, I prefer this barrel um, more than the other ones and my phone is not a silent route. Um, but yeah, I don't know, it just gives you really nice curls and they're not too tight or not too loose, just perfect. So this is why I really like this second barrel. So yeah, I'm gonna go in and just curl my hair with this barrel. So first thing I do is just kind of brush my hair, which I never do. Just brush, brush, brush. And then you kind of get like these two clips um, with the set. And I'm just going to use these to kind of clip my top section up while I curl the bottom section. So I'm just going to part my hair just slightly above my ear. Oh my god, it's so like, I thought I brushed it, it's so naughty. So I'm going to tie that all away so I can start on my bottom section of the hair. And yeah, so this is how I do it usually. And then I'm just going to clip this all into place. Ah! the opposite direction I don't know why this clip didn't go in okay it's in yeah so I just touched my hair my top section up now now I'm just gonna concentrate on curling the bottom part of the hair so I'm literally just gonna take random medium strands or you can call this thick strand of hair and I'm just gonna curl it away and I'm trying to keep my hair flat on the iron because if you twist your hair, then you're gonna get more wavy hair than curly hair. And I'm just gonna leave it sat on there for like 10 minutes. Ah, try not to burn yourself. They also give you a glove with this um, if you guys are scared of burning your hands. And I have burnt my hands on many occasions. And then just release, and then you get this beautiful, lovely curl. And now I'm just gonna repeat the steps all over my hair. So I just grab a chunk and just curl your hair and I'm trying to keep my hair as flat as possible on the iron you know what you don't even need to hold it on for that long because this kind of iron is like the heat is amazing I'm using it on the highest heat which is 330 degrees because my hair requires that much heat because of its thickness so here I am just kind of curling away from my face you don't want to burn your face ah flat so now i'm just gonna take like a random strand some of them are gonna be thin some of them are gonna be medium size some of them are gonna be really really thick and just curl away So yeah guys, that is the bottom section done. Really nice curls, like a oh, wavy curls. And I'm just gonna take my Silhouette Super Hold um, hairspray. No, it's Invisible Hold, sorry. I'm just gonna hairspray that lightly, but kind of. Hmm. And then I'm gonna move from the, gonna move up from the top section now. So 
So what I tend to do first is grab one half of the top section like so and then I pin the other half or this half pin the uh, pin the other half I mean clip the other half like this away from the rest of the hair if this stays in place yes and then this hair is the one that I know I have to kind of focus on so yeah so just repeating the steps really the top section of my hair is really thick and yeah it takes longer than the bottom section of the hair don't know why so keep taking random strands you know what I tend to do I tend to keep the top curls more tight than the bottom ones only because it looks so nice and volume at the top and then it gradually comes down to the bottom which I personally really really like Completed. Let me just hairspray this. Right. Okay, and then I just tend to kind of like mess it up. So. Kind of make it all nice and big. And then what you guys can do is like tease it at the back, but I don't like teasing my hair so I just have it like this literally 